Former Miss Uganda embraces new calling, spreading gospel on the streets. In an unexpected turn of events, Stella Nantumbwa, the former Miss Uganda, 2013-2014, has transitioned from the world of beauty pageants to the realm of spirituality. She was also in Big Brother Africa 2014. After a long time without appearing in media, in 2021, Ella gave her testimony. I've been so busy dying. I've been dying to a version of myself that no longer served me or the purpose I was created for. It's been one truly trying but rewarding journey. A journey that's seen me through three surgeries, three cancer scares, depression, anxiety, a 20 kg weight gain, and a series of immeasurable losses of friends, family, and loved ones. A journey that's tested my resilience, shaken my pride, tried my intelligence, weighed my forgiveness capability and my ability to simply let go and let God. An emotional roller coaster that had me questioning my entire existence, my life choices and impact on each and everyone I've ever met. But a journey that I am ever so thankful for regardless. Please allow me to testify. God is simply amazing. Because for every tear we cry, he gives us double for our trouble. And he does this more often than we may stop to acknowledge. Indeed, in the pain was a plan. He stripped me bare, left me with nothing and no one especially in those moments when all you see are masks, machines and protective gear and the countdown begins. In those moments, I was reminded that truly everything is vanity. My last words in the are, would be, to the Lord. Please wake me up from this one. Time and time again he did. He woke me up. In the words of Tasha Page, why not me? I'm the perfect person to go through this storm. My faith was indeed built up. Let me echo the many voices that have said it before. We serve a mighty God. Seek him, truly seek him with your broken and contrite heart. That's his version of a true sacrifice. There's so much more I could say, but for now let's have a praise break and praise Jesus. Here, I am Lord, redeemed and reckoned righteous by your mercy. Thank you, Father. In a recent Instagram post, Nantumwa shared a powerful image that captured her standing on the streets alongside her fellow, worshippers from Fanero Ministries, fervently spreading the word of God. The photos showcased her profound connection with the Holy Spirit as she passionately preached the gospel to passing crowd, as she called them to believe Jesus, eliciting a range of emotions and reactions from those who witnessed the scene. Nan Tumbley's Instagram post serves as a testament to her spiritual awakening and her unwavering commitment to sharing the message of God's love and redemption. Her post reads, to understand the phrase dead men walking, one would have to first die. A great servant of God once said salvation is a journey, not a what time event. On this journey you will have to die and truly be born again continuously. To lay all your crowns down for the sake of this gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, I was honored to join mighty men and women of God on the streets to preach the gospel and lift him up. I can't say it was easy, but the grace was sufficient and oh what a blessing it is to have breath too. Proclaim his name. Hallelujah. I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just one grain. It never becomes more but lives by itself alone. But if it dies, it produces many others and yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it. But anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. Whoever has no love for, never concern for, no regard for his life here on earth, but despises it, preserves his life forever and ever. If anyone serves me, he must continue to follow me to cleave steadfastly to me. Conform wholly to my example in living and, if need be, in dying and wherever I am. There will my servant be also, 
If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. John 12, 24 to 26. Her story resonates with many as it showcases the transformative power of faith and highlights the profound impact it can have on an individual's life. Nantumbwa, who once graced the stage as a beauty queen, has left behind the glamour and glitz that accompanied her title. Instead, she has wholeheartedly embraced her spiritual calling, taking to the streets as a vessel for spreading the gospel. The transformation from a beauty queen to a preacher is not one that happens overnight. Behind Nantambui's new calling lies a personal journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Her decision to share her newfound beliefs openly speaks volumes about her commitment and conviction. Alice Shift has not only surprised her fans, but also inspired others who encounter her on the streets. Her willingness to step outside her comfort zone and speak passionately about her faith resonates with those searching for meaning and purpose in their own lives. Through her words and actions, she encourages others to explore their own spiritual journeys, highlighting the importance of authenticity and following one's heart. While the former Miss Uganda may have relinquished her crown, her influence continues to extend far beyond the realm of beauty pageants. Through her street preaching, Nantumbwa has found a platform to reach people who may not have encountered the gospel otherwise. Her unique journey exemplifies the potential for personal reinvention and demonstrates the power of pursuing one's true calling. With her powerful testimony and dedication to sharing the gospel, Nantumbwa's story is a beacon of hope encouraging others to seek their own spiritual awakening and embrace the transformative power of God's love and grace.